guys, welcome back to Drop Lads Gaming with myself, Lazarus, and uh, the Jolly Golly, of course, are rolling up. Excuse me. <laughs> I burped. <laughs> <laughs> One for the uh, blooper reel there. <laughs> um, I was going so to say well, our bow wielding, archer fiending, saw blade <laughs> spinning <laughs> Kyle. Chicken anyway. flinging. <laughs> Chicken flinging. The, cr the flash dinging slasher. The flash flinging. The smash swinging. The flash bringing. <laughs> Weirdest intro we've done yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Um, by this point, um, I'm not promising it, but you may or may not see an intro before we actually started playing there. Uh, we've got Ooh. both got Photoshop, and we're um, we're currently working to try and get something sorted, something a little bit punchy, something that we think you guys will like. Yeah. Give you a bit of a chuckle, hopefully. What? Oh, I've got his name. I know Bar Chucky. Barry Chuckle. <laughs> no, I was thinking of Chucky. <laughs> oh, fair enough. What, what Chucky close? from Chucky from the Rugrats? What Chucky from Chuck E. Cheese? Oh, Kyle, I, I, I just got to stop you there. I've just got some armor with two slots. Oh, Aaron, there's story stuff happening. I am Magda, and I love oh. this coven. Ah, the hello, Magda. Is mine. To hell with you, witch. Very well. Now the games begin. Really? <laughs> oh, they're not even like. Come on, if you're gonna at least say like, something that, like difficult. <laughs> I think this is just uh, literally a bit put in to try and get our experience up or something. But you will never Leveled up. Oh, same. Damn you, Magda. Right, let's have a look at what skills we've got, shall we? Uh, we've got one for this shield. Not that good. Uh, let's see. Empower the law, surrounding you and your allies in a shield for a short duration. Not much point if we've got the healing thing, so I'll just keep the attack speed. And... Oh, I've got a room for falling sword. The ground you fall on becomes superheated, damaging all enemies who pass over it. Yes, please. Nice. Wait, did I get one for... No, I didn't. Cool. Uh, well, let's not have a look at that yet. We'll uh, explore the area a little first. For chests, etc. Aaron, what I got? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> I don't even know. It's like a death orb. Oh. What? So if it hits you, you won't be able to hear anymore? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, you're right, mate. You're like yeah. a rolling spot. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about like, the noise that I made. Yeah, sorry, I've got something a bit wrong with my throat. Uh. Uh, it is literally physically impossible to roll on the spot. It, it, it is. Like, even, like, you know in the old Pokemon <laughs> games where you could get red or blue to walk into a wall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. There we go. <gasps> We've got it. Ooh, we can teleport back also. We can. Oh, you beat me. There was a... Where's the teleport? Uh, down oh. here. He knows, mate. He's got his map out. Oh, I, to be fair, I didn't actually get the, get the map out there. I promise. <laughs> right, Kane. What have you got to sword. say? It was held by a witch and her coven. Uncle Decker. Oh, did I skip the? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get him to look around me and I pressed square to roll by mistake. Because I, I forgot I wasn't playing Final Fantasy. <laughs> right. What have you got, Leah? 
Said the next piece fell where only ancients may tread. That makes me think of the drowned temple near the festering woods. I remember you telling me about it, Uncle. Exactly, Leah. The temple was home to the Nephilim. Leah, your knowledge could be invaluable. You must go and help our friend Richard. Ah, oh, Leah's completely unfazed by this. The Nephilim were ancient humans <laughs> with fantastic powers. Legend holds that they oh, were coming with us. They got, the temple, they got anything new? Nah. Ooh, uh, two-handed sword. You know what? I'm going to salvage some stuff. I think I'm actually going to try and craft that adept war sword. Right, that can go, that can go, that can go, and that can go. Now, so so you can that, and that, and that. Right, can I craft it? No, right. Nope, I don't have enough stuff, sadly. If only I did. Uh, oh, I can make something if I wanted to, but what? But what, Oh, hello, it's our Templar friend here. Oh, the bloody hell are you? Are you oh. <laughs> Why is she following me? I, I genuinely don't know. Because I'm better. <laughs> Wait, level 18, that's also. Eh, screw it. Oh, why did I make that, Aaron? It's not even good. Oh, now I'm sad. Yeah, I'm sad. I I really want to make some um some swords and that, but I can't unless What do you need? I need one sec. Actually no. Right, never mind, I need it. Sorry bro. <laughs> Why did you say it then? <laughs> <laughs> uh I'll just have to pick some more stuff up, I think. Right, uh, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. I'm making a quiver. <laughs> oh. Of course. I'm just going to ride on ahead. <laughs> wait, I'm coming. Leah's, why is Leah following me? Is it Leah? Yeah, it's probably because... Wait, did you speak to her? No. Oh, well, I'm not sure. She probably, probably follows... The person who's behind? I don't know. Maybe. Or just behind the group in general. I'm nearly there, Aaron. Oh, I can see your trail. You there, please help. They're going to kill my friend. Come down, sir. Thieves are going to kill my friend. If we don't do something, help me break these bonds and see. Kinda reminds me of Charles Lee from Assassin's Creed 3. She's just a farm. <laughs> yeah. Sasha, but she has a relic that the thieves are after. So they're going to kill her, so you're standing here talking to us instead of letting us go and help. My <laughs> love will save me. Release the girl. The relic belongs to her. <laughs> you so you calm. actually believe what this scoundrel tells you? Fire As if they're going to beat us. The both of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's more. They think they can beat us. Oh, Nigel Cutthroat's here. Not Nigel Thornbury, mate. Oh, well, I remember that. Nigel Thornbury! <laughs> that was his accent, <laughs> right? Patience. Oh, smarter. Oh, this easy, guy's so easy. Man. Thieves Guild Assassin. <laughs> this isn't over. The rest of the Thieves Guild will find you. He made it all the way from Skyrim to here. 
<laughs> right, I just got an unidentified chest armor. Right. Oh, very Let's nice. Identify it. Heart of Iron, 93 armor, 60 strength, 51 vitality, plus 90 life per second, plus 10 thorns damage. Gain thorns equal to 285% of your vitality. Jesus. It's that thorns oh, do look pretty cool, actually. Is that thorns damage I get for that? Right. Come now, scoundrel. Here's the relic, my love. I hid it like you asked. Father's grown suspicious Where of did us. you hide it? It won't matter once we're married. It won't be long, right? Of course, my dear. Soon we will settle down to a quiet life of tilling the fields and raising brat uh, children. <laughs> but first, I have to sell this relic. Alas, I must travel away with my father. Oh dear. To do so. <laughs> He's leaving her. <laughs> it's a hard path. <laughs> yes, I just got a new bow. Oh my well, god, it's good. That, shall we go? Nice. Seek. Wait. This relic is a fake. Gods, I should have known. Oh. It seemed like you could use a helping hand. And I saw as hell don't want to stay around here. That's it. Just leave your wife. What, what a good <laughs> man. Hide your wife. Hide your kids. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this looks pretty cool. It does indeed. We are we are advancing. Is that gonna let us? I don't think it's gonna let us, is it? No. I have to talk to to this little scarab. Oh, 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 uh, uh, no. Oh. Ah, uh, oh. Uh, 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 no. No. Betrothed. Betrothed. Do I look like the marrying kind to you? By the way, my name is Lyndon. I shall wait in town until you need me. Okay. Well, we've got him as a. This temple is not encouraging. You must be Alaric the Guardian. Uncle Decker told me of your eternal watch over this cursed place. I thought it was a myth. Are you Nephilim? No. There have been no Nephilim for a millennium. Ha, yet another myth. You seek entrance to this temple, but only a Nephilim can enter. Oh. If you retrieve the keys from the outlying tombs and use them on the gates, we will see who and what you truly are. Ah, oh, why you gotta be so complicated? I will raise the bridge that you may pass. If he's Never a ghost, just, like, right? Why is he running? Why can't he just float? <laughs> why can't he just be like, yeah, you can come into the temple instead of go and get me the goons and then you can't only... <laughs> It must have been such a chore for the Nephilim who wanted to get into the temple millennia ago. Okay, you can come in, but first you need to go to the warrior's rest and retrieve the beaker of honor. Then you have to retrieve the beaker of light from the crypts of the ancients. <laughs> right. Fucking shit. Uh, oh. Another waypoint. Very nice. Ah, uh, shit crawling up everywhere. And... There's... There's shit what? Crawling around. Oh. Oh, I see. There's ghouls. They won't last long with us here. Uh, Wait, did I just do 4,000 damage with thorns to that guy? <laughs> Jesus, probably. I'm going to need to test that out. Uh, hello, I would like the keys if you have the keys. Oh. I don't actually know how much damage I'm doing to him with thorns, to be honest. I require more rats. 
Well, it did nearly 4,000 with my hammer. Nice. Right, uh, before we go up there, we should probably explore the other half of this area. Okay, Dave. Oh, Veiled Crystal. Oh, there's there. dudes down there. There's a crypt. Right, let's have a look at what this is. Crypts of the Ancient. We might as well get one of them for now, I reckon. Okay. Yay, barrel. Barrels. All right, let's hope there's ashes in here so we can destroy many. Chest. Oh, we've got a, uh... oh, we did have a return summoner. And chest. What? Oh, I get a unidentified belt. Oh, so you did actually get something from that then? Yeah. Right. Let's identify oh, cool. it. Not bad. 61 armor, 111 life per second. I'll take it. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm never going to die. <laughs> right. Speaker of light. Oh, there's going to be an enemy now, isn't there? No? Nah. Oh. Now we can... Well. Do you have it down here? Uh, yes. A let. <laughs> Kyle, literally as soon as they do damage to me, I'm just getting it back. <laughs> nice. He's dead. I'll pick that up so I can salvage it. Tomb Robbers Journal. I'm so sure we could beat whatever traps the ancients had laid for tomb robbers. But the dead oh, bodies of the well to the folly of our arrogance. See, nice can you hear that? Our greed what? was our downfall. Can you hear the guy talking? Nah, I already picked it. We both have to pick it up. Yeah, alright. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right, let's proceed up here. Hey, level, level up! 25! Oh. We both oh, level get something up. else oh. my steed charge. The war horse sure is cool. engulfed in righteous fire, scorching all who cross its path. Laws of Valor. I think I'll keep that one. Oh, I got another R1 skill. Yeah, Ex so did I. I got a sentry gun. <laughs> <laughs> Explode with the fury of your order, increasing your damage and wrath regeneration. Let's try that out. And I also got a passive skill. Uh, you, when you receive fatal damage, you instead become immune to damage, gain 35% increased damage and gain 1,570 life per kill for 5 seconds. Uh, nah. Aaron, look. Sentry gun. I, I can it? only just see it. <laughs> it's so Let's faint. Patience. Oh, Kyle, look at me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm Andre the Giant. <laughs> I think I'll use that instead of the flying attack. Oh, I'll do 600 damage per normal hit. Oh, I'm okay. I'm back to normal now. Ah, uh, another crypt over. <laughs> yeah, let's not go in that just yet. Think we'll uh, think we'll end the episode once we've treasure goblin. Oh, he's running. Don't let him run. Not yet. I can't move. Get 
Kill him! He's dead. Wow, that is a lot of stuff. Oh! Wow, I was getting low on damage there. I wish I could do that. Right, okay, okay. I'm getting quite low on damage. I died. Did ya? Yeah. Oh dear. I know, right? I'll take that. Take that. 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 Them. That and that. This is literally... Folks who are watching, if you're wondering why I'm picking all this stuff up, I literally just need salvage. Uh, let's go up here first and then we'll make our way back down to that other area. Better be down. I spent years exploring places like this with Uncle Decker. Just didn't let you finish your sentence. <laughs> he said, Leah, tell me more about your inn. And then she's <laughs> like, I spent years like this, years exploring places like this with Uncle Deckard. No, no, you're in. In. <laughs> Bloody Leah. Leah and her wacky antics and her devilish good look. Wait, that's Handsome Jack again. <laughs> Come on, Kyle. Well, that's just a bit over the top, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I just love the fact that I'm massive now. Oh. Anything over here? Right, let's go in the crypts. See what we've got. Uh, wait, Warrior's Rest? Oh yeah, that is the place. Well, uh, I think we'll end the episode for there, folks. Uh, in the next one, we will retrieve the Beaker of Honor. And then, presumably, we'll have to return to Kane and advance the story in many exciting ways. So, um, until next time, folks, we've been John Lads Gaming. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.